Well, good morning. It's another beautiful day, another start to a step towards progress and living with the opportunity to uh, learn from this day, to, to build from this day, to add to this day because we will never get this day back. And I'm gonna be looking at focusing on the idea of adding another layer to a topic that I talked about yesterday afternoon called two options why you are living and within that first part I had mentioned are you allowing life to slaughter you or are you looking to slaughter life and as graphic in nature as that may sound or perceived to be the truth is is that we live in a shocking a shock culture where people want to be doing things at an extreme level to get an extreme result or extreme attention or an extreme outcome and if we can't learn how to adapt that into learning to be better with the intention of stimulating our system in respect to our mind, body, and spirit, we should also be striving to use that to shock ourselves. We should also be looking to shock our system by identifying ways of not survival, but ways of being. And life has a way of either slaughtering us by not allowing us to maximize our potential because we've given permission to the world to condition us as robots or we've learned how to leverage the world in respect to what it's doing not becoming a part of it but really understanding how we learn how to make our life fulfilling happy um, adventurous uh, exciting challenging and unique for us to live and the way how we can learn how to quote unquote slaughter life is by making sure that we're making attempts to never live with doubt, to never live with a sense of questioning, did we live our life to the fullest? Especially when it comes to that time being on our deathbed, when we are looking at ourselves and having a self-reflection of our life in our dying moments, will we question that we lived it wrong? Will we question or be visited by things such as our potential, our purpose, our passion, um, our significant reason for living and contributing to society? Will we be visited by those ghosts where they will come and haunt us and say, we were here for you and you never took advantage of it? Now, all I can say to everybody out there is this. If you're listening to me right now, you're living. You can be living with an attitude of bitterness, anger, resentment, frustration, depression, sadness, all those things we actually do physically to ourselves. It's a, it's, it, it's a feeling that adds movement and action, but also you can be living your life in a way of fulfillment, happiness, purpose, passion, enjoyment, learning from negative experiences to build on. Because the more we waste time on the negative, when we are on our deathbed, that's when we're going to see the things that we were supposed to use when we were wasting time in our younger years or in our years of being capable of doing things. We're going to be visited by those ghosts and those ghosts will haunt you, but they more importantly will make you feel that you didn't live your life to the fullest. So now is your time. This moment is your time. If it's afternoon, if it's evening, if it's morning, this is your time. This is your time to figure out how to make sure that you are taking the steps necessary to build on your legacy, to build on your purpose, to build on your passion, to build on making life fulfilling, fun, enjoyable, happy, and making sure that you have the capabilities to be resourceful enough to deal with the realities of life that when challenges do come, you can deal with it, not with emotion, but being rational. And then being able to take it to the next level and look at opportunities to build on that as you're working towards life because life is not perfect for anybody. Everybody's going to be dealing with negativity. Everybody's going to be dealing with um, traumas, experiences, something that's going to impact us to try to derail us off of our purpose and our passion and to be ha to, or to have the ability to maximize our potential. So take this time to really reflect on that for yourself. Understand what it's like for you. Because the truth is, it's not going to be the same for everyone. Just like you have a unique fingerprint, you can't allow yourself to be conditioned by other people's experiences to think that they understand you and know you better than you know yourself. You are the expert of you. You only have one fingerprint that's unique. You're the only brand that matters. 
You are created for yourself. You are created to ensure that you leave a legacy on this world to say whatever your name is and when you were born and who you are, it's planted on this earth and it's never forgotten. This is your time. Take advantage of it.